I recently made a video stating how we've never really been able to enjoy the benefits of Brexit. The managerial class, the liberal authoritarians, decided that it was a bad idea and shouldn't really be allowed. Also, ever since the Brexit referendum, the Metro Liberals, the BBC, the government have been very upset by how stupid and ignorant the people are for wanting to have control of their own country. They consistently make the EU out to be this utopian land of milk and honey, where everybody's equal and very wealthy. However, the true face of the EU was recently revealed again after the National Conservative conference in Belgium, which was shut down. One of the main reasons why the British people voted for Brexit was the liberal authoritarianism of the EU bloc. And on top of that, the implementation of rules and policies that the people really didn't have any say on. This is why it's somewhat alarming that news is coming out that the EU is proposing free movement for young people between the UK and the EU. Now, of course, watch for the BBC, the government, the woke celebrities, the liberal establishment all come out and say what a good idea this is, how loving and kind and business savvy such a decision would be. Of course, what it really is, is a tentacle of the EU trying to bring us back into line and normalise relations. Further, with the Labour Party set to come in in the next election, this is probably just the beginning of many such initiatives. Remember, our overlords at home and abroad don't really care what people want. They want to maintain the liberal order more than anything else. This is why it's especially worrying given the recent EU Solidarity Pact. The Solidarity Pact is essentially an Orwellian name, which means you must accept mass migration, otherwise we're going to charge you. It was recently announced by the EU that they wanted to spread the distribution of migrants equally across all EU member states. Why on earth we have to accept so many migrants, you'll have to ask them. I mean, even Pakistan recently removed 1.7 million Afghanis, and they're the religion of peace, so why can we do anything like that? No, I'm sure they'd find some odd reasoning to state why Pakistan is wise and clever for such a move, but if it was ever done in Europe, it would be evil and bigoted. Yet this really tells us how the world truly works at the moment. At the very top of things, there are some very greedy, self-centered people who simply want an identityless, formless block of workers that they can churn out to make sure their businesses keep running. This is all kept in line by a lot of naive, useful, woke idiots who believe in the EU propaganda and push forward the broader aims of the system. However, I believe such people are massively underestimating the frustration that is building across Europe as people realise they don't really have any say in their own systems, as well as feel like they're losing control of their own home. This is why any dissent is met by mockery and shutting down conservative conferences. Yet this sort of authoritarianism cannot last forever. A change has to come eventually. Anyway, these are just some of my thoughts. Do let me know what you think below and do consider subscribing.